Hi learners, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we will see the part 5 of the same topic but we will continue with the innings 9.3. We already done 6 questions before and though you can have a look at the previous video. So now we will start with question number 7 of innings 9.3. So here they said the cost price of 9 articles is equal to the selling price of 11 articles and you have to find the loss percentage. So now cost price of 9 articles is selling price of 11 articles. So let us consider this as rupee 1. So cost price of 1 article is going to be. So this is for 9 is rupee 1. So cost price of nine article is going one of what article is going to be one by nine so the selling price will be how much selling price of 11 articles was is one so this is going to be selling price of 11 articles is one so one article is going to be one by 11 so hope this is clear so now this we know because there is a loss so the formula for loss is cost price minus selling price so the cost price here is 1 by 9 and the selling price is 1 by 11. So 1 by 9 minus 1 by 11. So here you can see the denominators are different. So we'll take the LCM. LCM is 99. So here you are going to multiply by 11. So here you are going to multiply by 9. So it is going to be 11 minus 9 by 99. So this will be 2 by 99. So the loss is 2 by 99. So we want the loss percentage. The formula for the loss percentage is loss divided by CP into 100. So what is the loss? 2 by 99 is the loss. And what is the cost price? Cost price is given this is as 1 by 9. So this is 1 by 9 multiplied by 100. So this is the numerator and this is the denominator. So the numerator remains as it is. Denominator gets flip over. So that is going to be 9 by 1 into 100. So this will be 9 ones are 9 11 are. So what will you get here? 200 divided by 11. So when you divide this one, 200 divided by 11, 11 ones are 11. So this is 90, 11 eights are 88. So here you get two remaining. So what will be your 18 integers, sorry. So once again, I'll do it. 200 divided by 11. So 11 ones are 11, 90, 11 eights are 88. So this is going to be 2. So that is going to be 18 integers 2 by 11. So that is 18 integers 2 by 11 percentage. So this is the answer. Now here they said 4% more is gained by selling a foot mat for rupees 180 than by selling it for rupees 175. And you have to find the cost price of the mat. So let us consider the cost price of mat BX. So when selling price is 180, then what we can see? Gain it will be selling price minus cost price. So selling price is 180 and the cost price is X. So will, gain is going to be 180 minus X. So gain percentage, the formula is gain divided by CP into 100. So gain is what? 180 minus X. And the cost price we have considered as X multiplied by 100. So now what did they say here? Then this is the first part is over. Then by selling it for rupees 175. So what we can write additional percentage gain that is what 180 minus x divided by x into 100 and here what did you get 175 so it will be the same one it will be here in place of this is going to be 175 minus x divided by x into 100 hope this step is clear to you so now what will you get here gain percentage is given here as four percentage so in below this you will write here four so now here what you can see here 180 minus x so here what we can see this is from here both this one we can see 1 by x is common and as well as the 100 is common so we can write here 1 100 divided by x we can take common over here so the, this is one term this is one term the other term so from this one, this also is 100 by x and this also is 100 by x that we can take common ones. And what remains is in the bracket, this will be 180 minus x. And now see here, whenever this minus is there and these are the two terms. 
so it should be like this 175 minus x because there are two terms here so this will be one minus 175 plus x so be careful with this sign so this minus is outside and there are two terms here so this changes the sign this is going to be plus x so this step is important so now what will you get here and this is the common one 100 by x so now you will take this x on this side because this is multiplication so that is going to be 4x minus x plus x, x gets cancelled 180 minus 175 that is going to be 5 and this is multiplied by 100 so 4x is going to be 500 so x is going to be 500 divided by 4 so that is going to be when you divide it you get 125 so x is is 125 so what we have considered x that is the cost price and that is what they have asked so we can say cost price of foot mat is rupees 125 now here the shopkeeper purchased 60 kg of tea at rupees 120 per kilogram and mix it with 40 kilogram of so actually this is tea And here, and mix it with 40 kilogram of tea costing rupees 200 per kilogram. At what rate per kilogram must he sell this mixture to make a profit of 20%? So here, cost price of, uh, because 120 per kilogram. So cost price of 1 kilogram of tea, that is 120. So cost price of 60 kilogram of tea will be, so you are going to multiply this by 60. So that is going to be rupees 7,000. 200 so sorry for this everywhere i have to make these changes so this will be t oh. so here the cost price of this is rupees 7200 so now next what did they say he is mixing with 40 kg of tea costing rupees 200 per kilogram so for one kilogram that is 200 he is mixing it so now let us see next cost price of 1 kilogram of tea that is 200 rupees so cost price of how many is that 40 kilograms so 40 kilogram of tea that is 200 into 40 that is going to be when you multiply this that is going to be 8000 so now what will you get a total cost this is 7200 and this is 8000 so this is going to be 15000 this total cost is 15200 so that is the total we can say the cost price also here the cost instead of that we can also use here cost price is so that will be more better is rupees 15,200 so now what you get we want what did they say what rate per kilogram must he sell is this mixture to make a profit of 20 percent so now you know profit of 20 percent means the formula for this is selling price is cost price into 100 plus prof profit percentage divided by 100 so now what did you get the cost price here as 15,200 in 200 plus the profit is given as 20 so here you will write in place of this was 20 divided by 100 so these two zeros get cut so this will be 152 is left here and this will be into 120 so now when you multiply this one you get 18,240 so what you can do here we can write here selling price of so everywhere there is Okay. there should be T. yeah so selling price of 100 kilogram that is t so now see here the why that is 100 because this was 60 and this was 40 so this both when we add this one that will be 100 kilogram of t because they have asked per kg so we have to add this first because the selling price of 100 kilogram of tea that is we got this as for the 100 kilogram so we will write here selling price of 1 kilogram tea that is going to be 18240 and this divided by 100 so this and this gets cut off so that will be because when we are dividing it by 10 so that will be 182.4 that will be rupees so that is what they have asked so a man sells two tables for rupees 12,480 each. On one he gains 20% and the, on the other he loses 20%. So 
So how much does he gain or lose in the whole transaction? So now first thing, there are two tables means we can just write selling price of first table that is 12,400. On one he gains 20%. So he is gaining 20% of the first table. So what will be the cost price? Cost price is the, this formula you have to remember. That is selling price into 100 divided by 100 plus profit percentage or gain. We can write because your gain and the profit is the same. So now what is the selling price? 12,400 into 100. 100 plus this is profit percentage is 20. So you will write here 20. So this is 12,400 into 100 divided by 120. This and this zero gets cut. When you divide this by 12, we get 1040. And this is 10 over here. So that is going to be 10,400. So now let us see this was for the first table. Now selling price of the second table. The Both the price is the same 12,400. This also was 12,400 because they said both the tables is the selling price is the same. But here what happens here and on the other he loses 20%. So the loss is 20%. So now what will you do here? Both the formulas are same in place of this one that will be minus loss percentage. Rest all this is going to be the same. So now selling price into 100 divided by 100 minus loss percentage. So this selling price is 12,480 into 100 divided by 100 minus this loss is 20. So this is the same, this is the same, this is going to be 80. So when you divide this one, you get 1560 and this one zero from here. So that is going to be 15,600. So now what you can see here, in this one, the cost price was 10,400. And here the selling price was 15,600. So we want the what did they ask? How much does he gain or lose in the whole transaction? So now let us see for the first the selling price. Selling price of the two tables means it is here 12,480 uh, 12, and there were two tables that was 24,960. And the cost price here we got this as that is 10,400 and here 15,600. That is the total is. 26,000. See here the selling price because for both the table it was the same. So we multiplied by 2. So we got this the total selling price. And this is what we got now. That, uh, that is the total cost price by adding both the cost price. This as well as this one. So now we have to see that. Now can you see this selling price is 24,960 and this is 26,000. So definitely there is a loss. So the formula for loss is cost price minus selling price. So 26,000 minus 24,960 that is 1,040. So we want the loss percentage. They have asked for the how much does the gain or lose in the whole transaction. So now what will you do? The loss percentage is loss divided by CP into 100. So what is the loss is 1,040 and the cost price is here 26,000 and into 100. So these two zeros get cut. So again, this and this zero gets cut. So 26 ones and 26 fours are that is 104. So that is a 4%. So therefore the loss is 4 percentage. Now here the cost price of 10 pence is the selling price of 8 pence. Find the gain or loss percentage. So first what we'll see for 10 pence. So we will see for we'll consider here cost price of 1 pen be rupees 1. So cost price of 10 pence will be, for 10 pence will be rupees 10. And they said the cost price of 10 pence is the selling price of 8 pence. So selling price of 8 pence also is going to be 10. Hope this part is clear to you. So if cost price of 10 pence is 10, so selling price of 8 pence also is 10 because they have said is the selling price of 8 pence. So now we will see for selling price of 1 pence. So 8 pence is 10. So selling price of 1 pen will be, when you cross multiply, that is going to be 10 by 8. So 10 when you divide by 8, that is going to be 1.25 rupees. So now what we have to see. So before that it was here 1.25 and here is 1. So gain is equal to selling price minus cost price. So the cost price here you got the selling price of 1 pen is 1.25. Here you are considered the cost price of this is 1. So the gain is 0 0.25. When you subtract this you get 0 0.25. So gain percentage is what? 
gain divided by CP into 100. So gain, what did we get here? 0 0.85. What is the CP? CP is given as 1 into 100. So that is when you multiply this one 0 0.85 into 100. So you get here 25 percent. So gain percentage is 25 percent. So we have completed the work here. So do like and subscribe to my channel. So you get the notification of the other parts. Thank you.